Hello guys and welcome to Tactical Gear Review Channel and you asked me to do uh, reviews about first aid kits so today we'll have the first aid kit for uh, your car from Survival Emergency Solution from Australia uh, I have this first aid kit uh, for couples of years like really for a couple of years in my car the, uh, I have this uh, first aid kit in my glove box uh, every day in my car so this is an EDC car first aid kit um, I'll show you what what uh, cool about the first this first aid kit what uh, do we have inside it's time for me to restock the things inside so I'll show you what do survival uh, emergency solutions provide you with the kit and what I added uh, above um so that's it guys the first aid kit from survival emergency solutions from australia um let's have a closer review about this nice kit Here is our first aid kit from Survival Emergency Solution from Australia. Really nice kit. I, as I said before, I think the best kit in the world for now, for me, that's what I use. I have this kit in my car for, for every day, like EDC uh, first aid kit. So uh, there are stuff inside from the, for, from the uh, this company, also stuff that I added and I already restocked uh, this first aid kit so i'll show you what i added and uh, what we have when you buy what you have when you buy this kit so firstly of course before i open it you have here uh the colors so this is really nice because you have color coding you have red trauma hygiene information uh utilities which is great because uh when something happened you can quickly find the things you need also as you can see the old there the, this is the old site survival.net.au uh, uh, now they have the site called survival first aid kits australia and but here as you can see you have a uh, restock e handbook and a uh, first aid so you can uh, restock your stuff inside really really fast here you have the cpr card which you can put out if you have to if you need to do a CPR I think from the Sun yeah the card just stick to the plastic but still after a couple of years you have the CPR chart child baby CPR and C, uh, CPR uh, chart for adult check for danger danger check response sent for help clear and open the airway uh, and all the other stuff now uh, today uh, it's the CPR change in some countries like here in Israel we do not do the two rescue breezes we only do, we only do the uh, 30 chest compressions uh, also of course the number is incorrect so uh, if you want if you like you ju can just write write your number here uh, for uh, emergency call now let's put it back in like this yeah you, you can put a card with your name here if you need so I don't need I, I have it in my car you have some molly so you can adjust and put uh, it there and that's it guys so let's open this kit inside we have the personal belonging here you can put some bills I did not do that because in my car it's even here in Israel it's too hot and your uh, things will just um, 
the builds won't last long. As you can see, you have additional space, so you can put anything you like in this kit. Now we have the tweezers here, really nice uh, tool um, for your uh, car first aid kit. Nice when you go for camping and something uh, goes into your finger. Nice shears, uh, nice bending here so you won't cut the person if you're cutting something. And it easily cuts clothes or anything else you like. Really comfy. Um, we have these shears in the military too. Here we have the emergency blanket. Did not use that, but only in the military. Here we have some safety pins. I, uh, as you can see, also you have numbers, so you, you need to hear six pins, so you have to restock. I use the pins for, for uh, I don't know, many purposes, so it's nice to have them here. Here, a pen. I will ch change that for a marker, but uh, I have put here a black marker after two or three months. Uh, it doesn't work because it's too hot and just, uh, you know, dry out. So the pen here, you can use it to write something in this first aid booklet, which you have also a notepad, notepad inside, as you can see, first aid, blah, blah, blah. And here we have notes, which you can write with your pen. And also here, as you can see, if you do not remember and you have emergency situation, you have here the basic life support flow chart, um, the CPR, um, ABC, da, da. you can look how to do that, how to stop the bleeding, bites and stings, um, choking, so you can quickly open that um, and look, which is really great if you're not, not in a, uh, no, a life, uh, life and uh, dead uh, situation, uh, you can open that and look. Uh, I do recommend to have such books in uh, your first aid kit. So you can see injuries, sprains, and more and more. And here you have one injury illness record, which is nice. So you can put here uh, the, inf the info, the victim name, history, uh, and all their stuff, email, phone, and give it to the paramedic or the uh, ambulance that will come. So the pen is good here. Also, a cool thing about this pen is that if it's end up, you can take this out. Well, I don't remember how, I think yes. Yeah, and you see you have another one inside. You can put it back here, if I'm not wrong. So just push and you have a new pen. So this is nice, will ho ho last long, you have a couple of uh, things like that. So, nothing here anymore. Here, you have fever scan strip for temperature, uh, which is really nice. Forehead temperature strip. Drinking exercise you know, after coming out or keep away from sunlight. So it looks like this one. Maybe I'll use it and show in other video how it works. Okay. Now here you have place for antiseptic. They do not ship that because every country have its rules. So you can put here antiseptic that you want, sunscreen and repellent. I do not use in my car. Uh, I have it in other kits. So I put here two bandages, not from the uh, survival company. So, but it's nice to have the repellent and the sunscreen. If it's not too hot, because when it's too hot, the repellent, the sun sunscreen, uh, just dry out. Uh, even in tubes. So we do not use that in Israel. And do not put it in the car. But it may be very good for you if it, you have if you live not in a hot weather country. So I have plastic bags here. I've I've used them already really nice if you uh, do not want and you do not want to leave any garbage uh, from the first aid kit uh, in your car or uh, in uh, some hiking so 
um, I mean camping or something like if you camp with your car and you use the first aid better put in it in the plastic bag do not throw away please splint probes so splint probes so the splinter probes you can use for um, if you need to uh, some to get out some uh, wood inside your uh, fingers I don't remember how to say it cor spell it correctly in English here you have wood dressing major woods pretty good uh, wood dressing but I, uh, I mean I have here the easily bandage and also in my car car I have um, uh, Close to me, the the cat tourniquet and first first aid kit is really tactical bandage. Uh, so this I have in the uh, glove box, and uh, the cat and the bandage near to me. So you have to know that. So the wood dressing here really nice, pretty cool. Also hypo allergy, allergenic tape which is really cool using the it restocked it a lot looks like this a nice one as you can see here also let's go on you have here triangle bandage but this is the triangle bandage which is really uh, uh, nice thing your first aid kit you must have this um, you can uh, if you broke your leg or elbow or anything else uh, this is what you would uh, use as a spleen uh, or as you can see here pressure head bandage or a sling uh, so that's the options here we have uh, I have here the Israeli first aid kit the old one um, not from survival I just uh, put here it here from my military as you can see it is old I will have to um, buy new new one but you know bandages can hold a lot of years but still better to um, restock them so I will do this uh, I mean long time ago it's exp expired um, so here we have pressure bandage, which I do not have here. I'll show you. Uh, in, in other kits, I used it. I stretched my uh, leg and I used the pressure bandage. Really cool bandage. Um, it has uh, nice quality. So I'll show you in the other kit. Maybe they'll sh they, I will buy a new kit and I'll show you what they have. So the second here you have such bandage pressure bandage which is also li also like this one but th this one is heavy duty this is one is medium weight so i use the heavy duty really helpful so nothing here let's go on here we have the cpr kit which is pretty pretty cool also here as you can see the adult cpr and from the other side child baby cpr and here we have a skin clean wipe gloves and um mask to make the um uh, breathes okay the rescue breathe, breathe again here in israel we do not need that we do not do that um so only gloves and skin clean wipe will be cool but nice to have the masks too you know let's put it back in here more gloves one pair infection protection here you have saline as you can see on the free I've used uh, one and also restock it um, really nice saline because also in hot weather you can use it and no problem it's still as you can see uh, liquid did not dry out washing woods great for it irrigated eye also skin cleaning wipes again here you have always good to have them um, hydrogel 
Also, also as you can see I have, I have only two here use three of them they're really really nice uh, when you burn your hand it prevents the burn to progression really I mean it's it does really cool the burn area really nice production I mean really really nice so as you can as you can see I also ha have to uh, restock it soon iPads two of them never use them still here still good though it has an expired day but still it's a bandage what will what will happen you know adhesive dressing plasters so really nice they have small a bunch of small plasters which last long and the big plasters which hard to find but are a great too really a lot of uh, plasters and uh, as I know really nice company made they do not dry out I mean they are really really good more wood closer I used one um, really nice it's, it, as you can see here inside it just has three strips and you like if you cut your hands you put it like uh, the strips here and uh, works like I know uh, uh, how to, to say that uh, it's pull the, cl the closer cr across the wood and press firmly in place so it's really close uh, the uh, the wood across so if you uh, cut your uh, hand or uh, anything else you can put that in really easy to use and do we have here something else yes of course cotton gauze swaps yeah i have two here nice cotton to clean some uh, blood from the woods or to close to put it like this and put a bandage above and non adhered wood dressing burns or abrasions uh, this is really nice did not use in this kit used in other kit uh, really nice uh, won't uh, tear your skin when you want to uh, put this down so guys this is the kit as you can see I'll hope I'll get I buy some kit from the, them soon and I will show you uh, how uh, they stock their kits without uh, putting me other stuff if you like this first aid kit for a vehicle uh, please push the like button comment below what would you love to add to this kit and of course share this video with your friends